Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Bit Trip Rerunner, where we're going to start today with a little trip to the Community Zone. Uh, so as you might have seen on the main menu there, there's a little, little information box about it. Um, this game does have full, a full level editor and also music editor, so you can make your own tracks to do your own levels to. Um, and I have played around a little bit with that and also just playing people's levels at random. I didn't necessarily want to do an episode where we just like play randomly through a bunch of levels in the online because I figured probably a lot of them would be kind of crummy. And I was right. My, t my experience with this has shown that, you know, there are some real gems in there. There's some really cool stuff. And then also there's a lot of like, haha, but if I made it so that all of the obstacles are very close together and it's just like kind of a mess noise wise. And, um, but you can see here we have a uh, at the top of the screen here where it says barbaric nostril that's my current rank um, you can perform tasks beating player created levels making progress in the campaign to unlock the ability to customize your banner and stuff and most of this is just you know the flavor and mood and familiar these are all things that other players see in the uh, in the level you know when they're playing custom levels and whatnot but you do unlock more colors for your rainbow, the rainbow that appears when you get to extra mode in, in the normal game. And you can actually customize it color by color. I've just switched us fully to a uh, one of the offered rainbows, but I think that's pretty cool. And like I said, there are some neat ones. I might... We're going to focus on finishing the normal game here today, but, but we might see... We might go and, and have a look at some of that stuff. Um, maybe I'll like scout out a few so that the so, so that I'm sure I'm not dragging you through any garbage and we'll do an episode where we just play like a bunch of good ones anyway for now let us focus on this thing commander video always obeys traffic signals very important Okay, so here we go. The mechanic that we hadn't used yet. Oh, that's a crouch, right? You know, those objects were a different color in the other environments. That's a kick, I guess. Probably a kick. But what am I doing? I probably could have just slid under that if I hadn't let go of the slide. Oh, I put the shield up instead of kicking. You know, there was... It's going to be a little bit of warm-up time. <clears throat> that's... That's a little tricky. Now that the, uh, the crouch object and the shield object are the exact same color don't know that I love that. I was all prepared to slide under and then I saw where the gold was. That's, about, that's a jump pad. I did go back, by the way, and get all of the gold that, uh, that I was missing in the previous levels. So 
as things stand right now, we have all of the gold, and that makes me even more reluctant to miss bars. I like that rainbow. I think that looks nice. I don't know how many boom boxes we still need to unlock like the rest of the music. It can't be very much. Or the rest of the levels, rather. Still in the air, unfortunately. A little bit late on that one. Ah, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> Ow, my knees. I was kind of thinking that was going to boost me over. Jump, then crouch. I feel like there was a weird speed up there at the end that I was not expecting. I know what I just said. Apparently, I want to let it go. It's fine. We don't need all the gold. Probably. I think the amount of progress we make towards the unlocks is based on gold, not level completion. But we're still... Ah, well, okay. I didn't really see that coming. Um, we're still making enough to get all the things. What if you just, like, didn't try to jump over every obstacle? Came out of the wall. That feels like dirty pool. I feel like that was not that hard of a uh, level to get all the gold on. These levels are definitely challenging, but it's not always the gold that's doing it. Oh, I still have to crouch. I, I figured that was going to hit, like, close to the surface it was on, right? Like, ones that are on the floor hit low. So we'd be fine if we stayed standing with one on the roof, but I guess they're always color-coded to what you need to do 
on the ground to deal with that. It's a weird place to all of a sudden be taking a stance of uh, consistency about what the colors mean, but fine, I guess. That's embarrassing. Yeah, I guess I'm just not fast enough to react to the, uh, the bouncing balls that come out of the wall directly in front of you. Oh, maybe we have all the boom boxes already. It was an obstacle. I jumped over it. It's just like my automatic reaction to everything. The right way to do this is to just do it all as one jump, right? I'm making that way too hard. I keep reacting to all but one of the things that's going on. I did not do the relaxed float jumps there that were needed. The area before the first uh, checkpoint there was like half of the level. <laughs> it was really, it was really strange how easy and fast that was after we got the first checkpoint. Jump over that. That's interesting. <laughs>
God damn it. Things were going so well. I do love the, uh, the Vitruvian commander video. Everything, every obstacle in every stage. I have to try to jump over it at least once. There we go, at least I learned that pattern. name is a little disconcerting. I cannot believe I survived that. That was a real uh, a real gimme on the game's part and I appreciate it very much. Just not getting all the gold. I finally got one of those. I don't know why those were so difficult for me to see. Okay, now they want me to go top, I think. Because you can't, you can't slide and absorb at the same time. I did quickly enough read which green projectile that travels at that height that was. I was holding the, the button for that, and then I just, I don't know, I, I reflexively jumped for no reason. little like syncopated jump pattern. I didn't look like it would require a jump.
what? I I don't know. I feel like I was pressing. Bumbling through them. I do not feel as sharp as I did last time. Ow. And somewhere off in the distance, a wizard successfully obliterated my entire groin area with a single shot. Sniper Elite shit right there. Right, it would be better if I blocked those because then I would have so much more time to jump. Float jump is a good idea for some reasons there. Just have to be careful of that. Alright, so if I jump right from where I get the gold, I can hit the ground in time to be able to drop. I don't know. When I'm coming at those and I realize that they're blockables, I should just stay low. To jump absorb. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just a small number of points. But I want to get it right for, you know, the same reason we want to get the shields right. Because, you know, it's because it's a small number of points. I didn't say just a small number of points, but like, what does that mean? I feel like I was doing everything right. I just got a little bit behind the tempo. And on that one, I laid down and waited to die. It was penance for the, the run before. I keep jumping like I'm just I'm jumping for no reason there I don't even see the obstacle yet it's just like I don't know it feels like I should be doing something you can't just run flat along the ground yeah 
Yeah, I'm doing everything just like a tiny, tiny bit late here. And it's adding up over multiple prompts. Also, sometimes I do fully press the wrong button. I guess that's a thing you're not supposed to do. wondering if maybe doing this at the very tail end of a very long day is having some effect on my tempo and timing. Okay, I was fully in slide mode there. I got in maybe a little bit later than was graceful, but I was definitely in. Yep. Okay, you know what? Hold on a second. that look right the first time didn't I yeah I think it's like you want a long jump from the goal too much enthusiasm for the jump. That dumps you in a really ugly place. Okay, you do have to hold down the whole time through the air, though. <laughs> there you go. So the secret was I went to sleep for five hours. <laughs> Or, you know, not with my, <clears throat> with my difficulties. I went to sleep for 70 minutes several times. It was like five hours in total. Anyway, that definitely feels like it helps. I feel much more responsive now. Let's see if that actually holds through another level. They're doing some really mean stuff with the jump timing. Like these levels are much harder than the ones before and I probably I don't know if there's if they look as difficult as they are they are really well that's just my hand being in the wrong place yeah okay we can do that that makes things a little easier Oops, I should not go low I don't know who that little um that little character down there was
I get I get caught up trying to grab all the things and I jump. You definitely do not want to jump there. This level is all about applying like <clears throat> the shortest of short jumps and the longest of long jumps very, very precisely. Almost killed me. <laughs> what a terrible jump that was. It, it comes at a very high angle. It, it feels like a thing you would duck under in a lot of ways. Better-ish. Pretty much better. It is inarguably in the neighborhood of better. Yep, don't... Don't get distracted by the word boss flying across the screen. Remember how the game works. Ooh, that's... Okay. How do you... Because I do have to jump there, right? I can't just walk off of that. Oh no, you totally can just walk off of that. Okay. Yeah, and then jump when you hit the ground. That's the... But like, short hop. Because you have to slide between those things. There we go. The leap of faith, but also duck under a thing is tricky. Oh, that's a that did not have the visual of a boost pad. I was caught off guard by the behavior. Jumps don't look like float jumps. They look very normally doable. Yeah, the, the stuff that's going on here is really pretty tight. I appreciate all of our friends from the past chipping in to help us out. Ah, damn it. I 
I am not doing very well on the sight read here. Okay, toggle back and forth. Toggle back and forth. Yeah, that's a very challenging level. Is this how it works for hats? You just, you literally see any person of the other gender and it's just like... Ow! I didn't know the credits were gonna try to kill me! Again, you can just go ahead and slide under this. It is okay. But every time I start doing it, I'm like, no, I should press the correct button. And I stand up and uh, die horribly. <clears throat> Boy, do they want me to get all the way through this song with no checkpoints? It kind of feels like... It feels like it might be sort of a long one, I'm just saying, because of the hundred, you know. That's not a jump. That was a normal height. I could have just... <clears throat> Might be good to try to cross that space, huh? Well, that's a stupid way to die.
Oop, down, down, down is the thing. Okay, maybe not that much down. No, thank you, Rhythm Alien. My girlfriend was outraged that in the last episode I just kept saying Runner 2 instead of the full name of the sequel, which is Run which is Runner 2 Presents some, Bit Trip Presents Runner 2 Legend of Rhythm I knew it. It ends with at Legend of Rhythm Alien, which is good to Also, where did I miss a gold? What did I do? What did I do? Ah, but see, I have the power of love. They hate it when you have the power of love, and also Meat Boy is there. Okay, credits level was cool. Um, we have a little bit of time left in the episode, yeah? Why don't we... Why don't we go have a look at some of those bonus levels? I want to see more stuff. We could just unlock everything at this point. So this is 10 levels. I don't know if I have time for 10 levels. Let's um play the original Bit Trip Runner with the new Bit Trip Rerunner art style. You know what? Let's let's see what this looks like. Wow, okay, so this is a whole wow. All three zones with all the stuff. That's fascinating. And then there's a couple of things that are just like three levels inspired by a previous game. And then the Runner 2 and Runner 3 things have more songs. This is a lot of content, actually. It's more than I thought it was. Uh, let's take a look at a couple of these smaller ones. I will say I don't know a lot about what Bit Trip Core and Bit Trip Void and stuff are. Bit Trip Beat was the one that's kind of like, um, it's sort of like Rhythm Pong, I think. Let's, let's see what this is. Let's see what these look like. Just a little bit. I had to remember which old... Um, the old graphics corresponds to which button. gonna happen eventually. Hold on, I can get this. I can get this. Yeah, all I need to do is stop panic jumping. Definitely a very different vibe. Runner 2 Future Re Future Legend of Rhythm Alien. Oh, 
Okay, this is happening at a slightly higher BPM. I just clean jumped over a gold for no reason there. a little bit harder than it looks to land precisely on that thing. Maybe not as hard as I'm making it look, but... there eventually. It's a little sloppy. If I can make that in one, I think I just have to jump way early. Like, come down just on the other side of the garbage can. Nope, okay, you can totally do that. But I was not prepared for success. It is narrow, though. Oh, my poor knees. I know I jumped over some gold there, but if I get it, I'm just moving on. slow on my brain lasers. I really, really like the beat of this one. gold like right at the end that's very silly makes it it's that's the most frustrating thing to like do a level pretty well and then just have some some like you jump 
very slightly wrong. You come down a little bit too late. I missed the thing right before the end of the level. And it's just like, do I want to go all the way back to the beginning? I didn't have time to die and correct it. Do I want to just do the entire damn thing again? And the answer is yes, because the song is rad, but probably not on camera. I think, honestly, maybe that's where we call it for today. Listen, I did I did a fairly large amount of kind of difficult stuff in there. Um, so that's going to be it for us for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, we're going to play around with these boombox levels a little bit more. We're going to try to do a couple of community zone levels. I'll, I'll, I'll get a couple ready. Um, it's not super easy to like have a list compiled of good stuff to play, but I'll find a way. I will find a way to bring you some cool stuff. Um, so yeah, come back next time for that and we'll see you then.